What's the matter? Mm. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm... I don't know. You made a weird noise. Just digging this. I'll be the studious one today, and you could be Jane. Jane. And only the real nerdy oh, people this. will know what that if means. If you know my cosplay, type it out. Type it out. Today. Monday. Here we go. Our Monday video on marriage and... There's Sex. really no point to talk about anything else. That's what we talk about, I guess. Um, but we're talking about lack of desire mm -hmm. and how that's very common in a lot of marriages where... It totally is. It is. Very common. You're just talking in about today. In a lot today. of marriages. You're just talking about today. And that's actually what prompted me. <laughs> this is really what prompted me. We'll, we'll just be real. All right. Right? Sure. Lack of desire on one side. Not so much a lack of desire on the other side. Ever. So what do you do? Stop that. You know that's not true, and most of the people that watch this know that's not true. So what do you do? What do you do? You usually just tell me to go away. <laughs> it works for the majority of the time. I mean, no, no. So what do you do when one one spouse, and that really could be either one. It could be the the, the husband or the wife. It. It goes both ways. Especially um, husbands are really stressed out with work. There's no desire. Yeah. So, I mean, but I think the point comes down to it's not, like, if I have the lack of desire, it's not my problem. If he has a lack of problem, it's not his problem. If I have a lack of desire, it's not his problem. It's our problem. It really is. We've it's, got problems, babe. <laughs> Monumental problem. Huge. Huge problem. <laughs> no, but it, it is a marriage problem. It's yeah. not, well, that's her problem. She's just never in the mood. And it's not, you know, his problem. Well, he just doesn't, you know, turn me on anymore or he doesn't work hard for it or whatever. It's your problem together. It's, it's something you both need to work on. And there's um, a variety of ways you can do that because 99% of marriages out there, at some point, you were very sexually attracted to each other. Whether you are now or not can be different depending on how long you've been married. What? I'm just looking. Wait, I'm being wait, honest. I'm trying to bite my tongue. No, you don't have to bite well, your tongue. You know, God. you know, some point. I'm, when did that point fade? I, that's what I'm. That's what we're wondering you, because you, it, you don't it find does. me sexually attracted that's anymore. That's not what I'm saying. I go to the gym like six days a week. She's so mean to me. I'm not mean to you. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not mean to you, and you know it. No, but what you know, what ninety nine percent of marriages at some point you were very sexually attracted to each other. Why does that go away? Is it? I likened it a long time ago to. Um, like a really good food, like lobster. If you eat lobster all the time, you kind of get sick of lobster. Is that what it is? Totally. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> but, but what is Would you is ever it? get tired of sushi? That's your favorite food. You ever. know, I don't think so, yeah, actually. Yeah, You're yeah. right. That's, that's, really that's how point. I view you, sweetie. But I think the point is, aw. <laughs> Wait, that could, well, there's too no. many weird <laughs> innuendos there. Um, but no, I think the point comes down to um, learning yourself and figuring out yourself and then having your spouse romance you or get you in the mood if a guy just comes home hey babe you know it's friday night oh you do it yeah exactly that's <laughs> what i'm saying that's what i'm saying you know if he comes home and romances you and makes you feel good or maybe cleans up after the kids or puts the kids to bed or makes you dinner or hands you a glass of wine or gets you a bubble bath that's kind of like let's take everything else off the table and not worry about it everything off the table and put her on it there you go <laughs> that works but, you know, for the guy, if it's the guy that's really not getting in the mood a lot and he's just busy all the time or whatever. Just walk in the room naked. Walk in the room naked. Yeah. Give him a massage. Give him something. Hand him a beer. A whatever. Sensual I don't know. massage like, with a beer. <laughs> Ooh, sweetie, here's a beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird. <clears throat> there goes that train of thought. Was, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, my but gosh. I think the, the major thing is, is that when you're not in the mood... And for me to get her in the mood, I have to know what's going to get her in the mood. So you have to communicate yep. what actually does it. If I vacuum the entire house, hoping that that'll put her in the mood, but and it may not. She might just go, hey, thanks, sweetie. And I'm still going, "What? what am, how do I unlock this puzzle? How do I unlock this lock? You live here. Though, and then, you right. Know? Yeah, and see, that's what a lot of wives yeah. say. Um, you <laughs> need, you need a reward yeah. every time. No. But it is the point of doing something good for someone else. Um, I heard it today that it's likened to um, a gas running out or a car running out of gas. So you have to refill the tank if you want to go further. And that's like in your marriage. To refill the tank, you got to find those times. you got to spend some time together. Just have some time, intimate time. You could just cuddle on the couch. Try being intimate without sex and see where that goes. Oh, 
But I, you sex? really have to. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But also it's a gift. It is a gift for married people. And I think mm -hmm. when we turn it around and really look at the perspective that it's a gift that I get to share only with him and I get to be this intimate with just him and no one else, that this is our gift, it, it makes me treasure it a lot more. It becomes a present that you can unwrap every day. So maybe then yes. <laughs> when I put it that way myself. Okay. <laughs> There's our sex thought for the day. But seriously, communicate. And there's a lot of times that oh, the question that I am in the mood, and I want her to be in the mood, and I won't say, "Hey, babe, what's going to get you in the mood?" What I do is I go, "Hey, what are you thinking about?" Because I know that if I can get her mind clear of worries, then she'll be in better receptive for my no, <laughs> really not like advances. So. I wonder where you're going there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's that kind of communication of, hey, if, if I just go, hey, what's in your mind? What's going on this week? What can I do to help you out? Um, she knows that I'm I'm not just going, hey, babe, let's have sex. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm saying, hey, I care about you. I love you. I want to put you in a position to where you want to want to. And, and honestly, that's the fantasy that most men have is they want their wives to want to. Sure. And, Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. And the best way to do that is to clear their mind. I want plate. you to want to mow the lawn. I right. want you to want to serve me. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it's kind of the same idea sometimes. That's why we had children. Boy, so, mow the lawn. That's all right. We're going to go have sex. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's what we're... we're questions. Oh, questions. So I'm going to put in the in the notes on the comments. Um, Show notes. Show notes. Um, 19 questions to ask your spouse, uh, either on date night or when you're alone or just right before you go to bed. Pull out one of those questions and ask each other it's something you may never have right. discovered. It's Are these the one that's like really in-depth, like what position do you like? It's and really in-depth. What, what sexual favors okay. do you want to endure? Stop. Um, Endure. <laughs> that sounds awful. All right. So if you know where this comes from, type that out too. I knitted it too. I did it myself. It's spectacular. Someone does. All right. So we will see you next Monday. And we'll come up with some other amazing thing to talk about. My little bunny. Bye. <laughs>